Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today we have another unbagging. That means we have another review. Let's find out who it's from. Well, it looks like we got diamond painting stuff and cross stitch. This is from Paint Some Way. And I guess we'll start with the diamond painting stuff. Isn't that cute? I had an idea. So I went a little nuts with the diamond painting part of this, so bear with me. They'll be worth it. That is, if I can get it out of the bag, it'll be even more worth it, right? Get that over there. This is made out of wood. And it's only on one side, but it stands up. I don't know if I can get it in there because it's got that. Yeah, it won't fit, but this slips into there and then it stands up. But I just thought it was cute and something easy and fast to do. Does come with a boat wax and a pen. And let's look at the beautiful drills. Some are shiny. Some look like a Aurora Borealis. So we will take a gander at the colors. This was... Hang in there. $5.99. So it's not very, very much. Just an inexpensive little nicky knack. But I think it looked cute sitting on like a table or something like that. So we got Aurora Borealis sort of whites, yellow, red, and kind of a gold, green, and then you have regular black drills. So it's got, what is that, six colors to it. So it's not very, very big, but yeah. What was I going to get? I was gonna, Oh, I was going to measure how tall this thing is, not counting its stand. We don't need that. All right, this second. It is 23 and a half centimeters. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, about 24 centimeters. 23 and a half, 24, which is nine and a half inches tall. So about nine and three quarter inches tall, counting the little stand, and it's very nice. See, so you put it on that way. So maybe I don't think I can. I can't get it in there. Only because it's got a the uh, plastic on it might need to be sanded down just a bit but my daughter has all those kind of things so but yeah I thought it was kind of cool and it's very 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 sticky but yeah I just thought it was a novelty I thought it was cute 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 and quick that that'd take you a day to put all them on there you know or less a couple hours depends how fast you diamond paint but yeah I thought it was nifty I liked it I liked it here let me put this all back in its bag because you know stuff happens around here hold that thought guys there we go if it's a long ass skinny bag there we go that way nothing gets separated because yeah we got a couple more things then I was watching somebody's channel, and if you are that somebody, shout it out. I can't remember if it was uh, Diamond Painting Effects by Corey, or if it was Desert Owl. I'm not sure. I might be wrong on both accounts. But they had this diamond painting, and I went, I need that one. Oh, yeah. So, hang on. Another one of those jiffy plastic bags you know we hate, right? It's like becoming a thing this is a 30 by 40 and it was $5.99 as well and it's of a gingerbread house 
How cute is that? So it's not very big. It has 23 colors. I'm trying not to lose the, the beads. Whoops. Let me see. But I just thought it was pretty. And I haven't seen too many gingerbread houses. You know, you get your Santas, you get your birds with the Christmas stuff. Yeah. So, gingerbread house it was. And, you know, my dream is to make a gingerbread house. I'm, I've got numerous kids. No, that never works out for me. So, but I always thought it would be nice to, to make one. But, yeah. Nice, clear drill field. And I didn't think it would take too long to do. And my daughter showed me something. So we were diamond painting at her house a couple weeks ago. And uh, we had these kind of bags that the drills came in. And she just, when we got done using them, so because there was like more parts to this diamond painting thing that we were doing, a little project. Um, she just took a lighter and just kind of sealed the plastic and kept them right there in the bags. So I thought that was kind of ingenious. And because we didn't have, of course, we didn't have an extra one of those plastic containers like this. Yep. No, we didn't. So, and it probably only had like eight or nine colors. So it really wasn't worth putting in one of those plastic things. But yeah. So let's measure the diamond paint. But I thought I'd pass that little info along. Let's see if I can get it turned. Doesn't want to lay down over here. So it'll be fine. You just do the diamond painting and then put a bunch of books on it and it won't have any crinkles because the back doesn't look too bad and it'll straighten out as you work on it I love this size because it's it's not too much and it's you know fairly easy to get done have I finished about six or eight of this size okay 39 and a half centimeters by 29 and a half, so it's a little under 30 and a little under 40. The actual picture size is 24 and a half centimeters or nine, a little over nine and a half inches by 13 and a half or 34 centimeters. So it will fit in an 11 by 14 frame, guaranteed. You just put a little bit of extra on either the sides or the bottom, and it fits right into the frame. So, yeah, I can hardly wait to start that. I just think it's colorful and cute and whimsical. Yeah, I just love that. So we'll see if I get this started sometime during the season so that I can get it done. Whoops, we didn't look at the drills, did we? Works just sad but true. Where are they? So there's a lot of pretty, pretty colors. Let me get rid of this bag. The, um, the number on the diamond painting is here. This is the number of the product. So you can't miss that. But it doesn't have DM... These have the DMC numbers running down here. But they're not, the DMC numbers are not on the bag. So you got some white. I was looking to see if they were Aurora Borealis, but they're not. So you got white and mauve, brown. That looks like 666 red. Some light pale, pale blue and blue. And a medium or to a dark teal. And then you have like a peachy color or coral color. And then that looks like 823. And more blues. Two packs of blues. It's kind of a navy. I don't know if it's 823 or not. Of course, I can't see this. It has 824. 
It has 550 purple. It does. Did I miss 550 purple? Where was that? Number seven. Oh, I'm starting at the other end. No, I didn't. So, yeah. And 3865 is your white. That's pretty. Light blue, more tan. Little green, a little yellow. There's your 550 purple. Like, how did I miss that? Because that's my favorite purple. Yeah. And that little medium teal. This looks like a, a gray. The drills look all nice. That looks like 321 red. Am I right? Uh, yep. 321 red. I love this color, too. It's really pretty. 154. Ugh. So, yeah, some really nice, beautiful colors in this. So. Nice and easy to get peasy. So, I got a few Christmas diamond paintings and now, you know, that I can work on. I still have to finish a Hope Runs Deep Diamond Art Club. Yeah, I passed it up the other day when I was looking for all my my stuff but yeah just beautiful beautiful diamond painting okay we got one more diamond painting i promise hang in there got to figure out how to get it out of the stupid plastic bag as usual don't like these bags oh this might not even come out seriously it got a little whacked out on the corner here, so it's not wanting to cooperate. Nope, we're going to have to cut it off. Dag and nab it. Well, of course, the sticker was stuck to the diamond painting. No wonder I couldn't get it out. So this one I saw also on somebody's channel. I don't know if you are who you are. Shout your name out. This is that Christmas Express. And it needs to be rolled. Whoops. We're losing the diamond painting pins. Alright. Let's see if we can get it to lay semi-flat. Move the drills. Drills are in bags. Yay! 22 colors. Very sticky, as usual. I haven't had any problem with little stickiness, so. This will probably have to be ironed out. I still like the one of the Santa sitting there on that, I'll call it a park bench. I can't remember what he was sitting on. With the animals. I thought that was just absolutely beautiful. But we're not talking about Santa Claus this year, okay? We can talk about him in theory. But, yeah, let's not get my grandma, granddaughter started again. Oh, my goodness. Let's see here. This one was, it's called Santa Train. It's a 40 by 40, and it was $6.99. So, none of these little projects were very much. Very nicely printed. It'd be interesting to see how good this turns out you know it has 310 black I'll tell you this ahead of time see and no 939 no 823 and it does have 3865 for your white yep so yeah I thought it was kind of pretty I like the whole train thing I like ancient trains. My ex-husband made a, like train cars. He got had woodworking, what do you call it, tools, and made a train that looked kind of like that. It was all done in like hardwoods, like cherry or walnut or something like that. It was really pretty when he got done. So fifty. Fifteen and a half or thirty-nine and a half by forty centimeters that way. So it is kind of square. 
pretty close. Let's see what this comes out at. 34 and a half or a little over 13 and a half by almost 35. So it's a little bit higher than it is lower. But yeah, I just thought this was a pretty diamond painting. So we'll see how it all transpires into, you know, what it is. I know I get freaked out by a bunch of details that I think that are not going to show up, but I don't know. So on this one, it'd be a little bit different. So we'll see. It's definitely close up enough. I don't know if you'll be able to read the words, but yeah. Let's take a look at the drills. Trying. They're all in baggies. They do not have the uh, I was reading what this says. It says Handy Craft Wonderful Life. So I don't know what that means. But I'll just flip this since they're all in baggies. So you can see all the pretty colors. But yeah, some really beautiful colors. So we'll see. I like all the greens and the way the train is kind of a greenish tinge to it. Yeah. Just beautiful. And for the price, the price was definitely right. Where is it? It's for under ten dollars, you know, you can have a diamond painting that's of a decent size. And I like that. And it comes with about wax and pen. So I'll put that all back in there. Now that we don't have a bag, I'll have to put a piece of tape over it to hold it together. I'll roll it the white way down maybe. Well, maybe not. Who knows? All right, on to the cross-stitching. So I got one little cross-stitch. It is a 31 by 31. Aren't they precious? I just absolutely love this. It says, Two Fox 2. Go figure. It's a Joy Sunday wannabe. It is pre-printed because it says it right there. comes in the lovely Joy Sunday bag. And the foxes were... Okay, $5.99 is the number of the day. So between $5.99 and $6.99, you can get what you need. It is a 14 count. And they always have good prices at Paint Some Way. I like that store. I'm trying to get it all unwound. There we go. Isn't that cute? I just absolutely love that. It has... 36 colors and no back stitching. So you could put as much back stitching in it as you wanted, if you wanted to. So, you know, everybody has 310 black or 5, 5200, B5200 white. So, do as you please. It's just how much stress do you want. I, see, back stitching is stressful because I think I'm not going to get it where it needs to be or make it look as good as it's supposed to. That, that's my big hang-up, and it takes forever, you know. Yeah, it is what it is. Again, nice big key, nice big pattern. This key does not match your canvas. They have their own numbers and symbols on the, the canvas. So, yeah, it's 130 by 130. But I just love the colors in this. The oranges and, and the foxes. Oranges, browns, greens. Little 310 black. Does come with two needles. There's your 38 or B5200. This has the, I'm running along the top of this color thing, is all the DMC numbers. And then this red numbered or how many strands of each color you get. And it does say two of two, and it does have the product number here. And they do the same thing on the other side. So you got lots of golds and browns, and I want to say like orangish gold. I don't know how. These two look so close. You can almost not see the difference, but I wanted a decent picture 
of foxes. Some of them I've got are okay, but wasn't what I was looking for, so yeah. I think they're pretty little animals. When I was little, there was I had to go to a tutor for my math and my English because those two things just didn't happen for me, you know, without help. So as I was going to their house, I had to ride my bike. There was people that lived on the corner, and they had a great big, huge backyard. Huge. Ginormous. It was like they had gotten two lots. And we're talking old school houses that were built in like probably 1935-ish or earlier. And so it was a huge backyard, and they had a fox. And he would come and walk along. They had like a, not mesh fit, like chicken wire type fence. So this fox couldn't get out. <coughs> but I got to see him every time I went to the, the tutor's house. So, yeah, just beautiful colors. Way to go, Joy Sunday. I know. Doesn't say Joy Sunday, but in my book, it's Joy Sunday. And it's not a big, huge picture. Let me see if I can get it to lay down for you. It does have both product numbers that were on top. It's supposed to be 31 by 31, I think. So it is 31 that away. And, well, 30 that away. Did it say 30? Nope, it says 31 by 31. That's okay. It's very nicely printed. It is surged all the way around before I forget. 23 and a half this way, which is not about nine and a quarter by mm, a little over nine, maybe almost close to nine and a quarter. So it's about square, but I thought that would be cool. And it doesn't look too hard to stitch, it has rivers of colors, as you can see. Very nice big key that runs along the bottom and around the edge. So you can see all the symbols. So it's very easy to see. Some of those, like this symbol, it's kind of difficult until you get like right on top of it. That's where I run into problems with the 14 count. But you always have your, your pattern. It's just going to tell you a different symbol. Yeah, I wish I'd get on board with that. It just drives me nuts. Come on, let's be consistent here. I know you put out great kits, but get it together, people. Very nice. Very nice. And it's not too big, and it'd be like a nice summer you know, project because it's nice and light and square. Be easy to take somewhere with you. You know, it'd be good. But very well printed. Other than those, other, those little bees, I can't hardly see. But, you know. When it gets light like that, sometimes I have an issue. But I tend to skip past those, and I put everything else around it so that it kind of makes it like the centerpiece, and then I can see what it is, you know. And you can look it up on the, the, on the paper pattern if you want. So that's four kits under $10, so... They'd make a nice gift for somebody that cross-stitched or wanted to learn how to cross-stitch or diamond paint. Because these aren't very big projects. They're not overwhelming, you know. I don't get overwhelmed. I just have one too many things going at one time. But that's just me. Now, Paint Some Way has diamond painting and cross-stitch. They have paint by number and they also do custom. I don't know what they do their custom in. Uh, they do have free shipping on orders over $49, and they usually have some kind of a special buy four, get one free type things. They may have a different, like, special for, like, say, Christmas. They do have tools for diamond painting, tools and crafts for diamond painting and cross stitch, and also oil painting, or their paint by number. It's not oil anymore, it's acrylic. And they do have stamped, beaded, and counted cross stitch. Um, I think, and they do have a separate Joy Sunday section, so do check them out. I have 
gotten things from them in the past several times. And I really, really like the quality of the product. If there was a problem, I did have a problem on one of the kits one time. I got, and I think it was paint some way, I'm pretty sure. It was one of those pillows, you know, that was all connected together and you had to sew it and everything. Well, it didn't have the key for what was what. And it didn't come with any other paperwork. So they email. I emailed them, told them the problem, you know, so that they could get it that information to whoever makes them but they also turned around and emailed me the key that I printed out on my printer or you could just leave it on your email on your phone and just look at the key I mean it wasn't like it had 900 colors or anything but yeah so they got right back to me and solved the problem and then also in the other turn told the the factory about it and then they can adjust from there. It's like they cut the paper right off and cut the, I don't know if y'all remember that or not, they cut the paper off and that's the side where the key was, you know? So it wasn't on the printed paper thing. So, but they got right back to me and solved the problem and if I ever have any other problems, you know, with them or I didn't get something, which never, hardly ever happens, you know, they always are on top of it, so I really like them. Thank you, Paint Some Way, for sending me these beautiful, beautiful kits. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.